All right, guys, what's up? It's Truck Guru, and I get asked a lot, um, you know, how did you get to be where you're at? Um, you're so successful, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then I see others, they're like, hey, you know, you're lucky. Um, so I kind of just wanted to put to bed and then give people out there who are aspiring to be better um, a few little tips that I've learned over the years to, uh, to be more successful and to be a better you. So uh, I've got like 20 or so little tips and tricks, um, you know, words of wisdom, obviously, that I've picked up from other people throughout the years. Um, you know, obviously, that, that's one of the things that I'm going to talk about, um, you know, about how to be more successful. So um, I'm just going to jump right into this. Um, rule number one, guys, do the work yourself, you know, um, don't be lazy. At the end of the day, um, nobody is going to uh, do the work for you. So you can't expect somebody to put in the work for you. If, if you want the results, you have to do what it takes to get the results, right? At the end of the day, nobody's going to gift you success. So you have to understand that mentally before you can proceed with your journey. Okay, so that's step number one. Number two, uh, stop wasting time. You guys, uh, you're the youngest you're ever going to be today. And uh, you have to pretty much take that in consideration. You know, uh, I've seen a lot of friends and, I, you know, I'm guilty of it myself, you know, and uh, one of those things are, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll get on that, you know, next time. And then you see it and somebody else did it and they beat you to it. Um, you know, when I was young, I used to think of like little inventions and things like that. And since I've grown to be a little bit older and an and, and adult now, you know, I've seen a lot of those inventions and things that I thought of when I was a really young kid, I've seen those come to life. Um, so, you know, I kicked myself in the ass thinking, hey, that could have been me. But at the time, I didn't capitalize on, you know, what I wanted to do. It was just in my head and I knew what I wanted to do, but I was being lazy about it. And that's the only way to, to kind of say that. So, you know, rule number three, um, rely on yourself, guys. Um, you can be your biggest help or you can be your own worst enemy. You can't rely on anybody but you. Um, the universe and nobody owes you anything, guys. Um, you think, you know, some of the most successful people, Elon Musk and, you know, Donald Trump, um, you know, Bill Gates, uh, some of these other big name people, do you think somebody just came up to them and said, hey, here's this or here's this idea or here's the way to make a billion dollars? No, nobody did that. Um, at the end of the day, it's on you. And you have to understand that going into anything that you do, ultimately, um, you can't control the actions of others. You can only control what you do. So you need to understand that and you need to make sure that when you're doing something, that that is shown in your actions, right? So, you know, number four, uh, be practical, guys. At the end of the day, success is not a code or a theory. It isn't something that's um, out there for anybody just to grab. You pretty much have to learn it on your own uh, for whatever instance you're in. Um, and, you know, don't get distracted on the little things along the way that, that are not related to your goal. A lot of guys will go on one path and they see something, ooh, it's shiny, and they go off on this way. And before you know it, that's not even close to where they wanted to be. Their goal is over here and they're over here. So at the end of the day, don't get distracted on where you're headed. Know where you're going, put your head down, tunnel vision, and just get there, right? At the end of the day, that's what it's about, the end goal obtaining and achieving your end goal that you've set for yourself. Otherwise, it's just a dream. And like I always say, dreams are for lazy people because, you know, I go to bed and I dream that I'm going to win the lottery. Am I going to win the lottery? Probably not. Be productive early and often, guys. I can't stress this enough. Uh, waiting around gets you left behind. Um, the more that you're sitting thinking about things instead of going out and doing those things, is you're running the greater risk of somebody else doing them before you or taking advantage of that situation before you do. So um, be productive, guys. At the end of the day, waiting around is really not going to do anything for you. After all, the saying goes, the early bird gets the worm, guys. Um, you know, while, you know, some people sleep for 8, 10, 12 hours a day, the, there's successful people out there that are sleeping five or two or three um, hours a day because, they know that there's shit that needs to be done. And at the end of the day, they're not going to wait around for the day to start. Their day starts all the time. Um, I know myself personally, I'll take calls all day long. 
um, up to midnight. You know, my phone's always ringing. I'm constantly answering my phone, putting out fires, setting deals up, doing things. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm on the clock all the time. I'm never not working. So um, you have to tell yourself going into something that if you're not willing to put that in, those blood, sweat, tears, long hours, long days, long nights, you're probably not going to be as successful as somebody that's going to do that. So at the end of the day, if you're not willing to do that, you probably need to to re refrain from, from continuing on that goal or that path or maybe even switch it up a little bit because um, somebody else will. And uh, I can guarantee that. Um, number six, guys, life isn't easy. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure almost any single successful person out there, um, can tell you a story of, you know, adversity that they've overcome something, a hurdle, an obstacle, something, nothing is just here's path A to B and it, nothing was in between there. And it was just a smooth sail and boom, I'm a billionaire, millionaire, trillionaire, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, it's not easy for anybody. So there's no sense in crying guys. Um, make do with what you can. Always look for the uh, the better options, the better ways to do things. I know myself, um, you know, I did 13 years in the oil fields and I was constantly always looking at a better, more efficient way of doing things. And that was just on one of my career paths. Um, but I do that in everything that I do in everyday life. How can I make this better, more efficient? How can I be more organized? How can I get this done without, um, you know, doing all this these extra steps? You know what I mean? How can I... Not, not that I want to make a shortcut, but at the end of the day, you need to make sure what works best for you is going to work long term. You don't want to do something now and then it screw you down the road. So you want to make sure that you're looking at the best way to effectively set yourself up going into the future and so on and so, so forth. Um, you know, number seven, this is probably my my absolute favorite rule that I, I try to stress to all my young friends, um, you know. You're only as good as the people that you surround yourself around. And, you know, literally, guys, um, you know, actions speak louder than words. That that That's the saying that goes. But, um, you know, others' actions can alter the reactions that you have. And, you know, the whole saying goes is, you know, you know, guilty by association, monkey see, monkey do, um, that whole thing. Um, you may not do that, but ultimately, if your friends and your peers and everybody that's around you is doing something, you know, usually people stray that same direction. It's very rare that you decide to go outside the lines when everybody else is right here. So at the end of the day, if your friends are doing bad and they're they're making, you know, they're being lazy, they're making all these mistakes, they're they're doubting, they're they're being haters, they're doing the chances are you're gonna be that way too, because it's gonna rub off on you. Um and it doesn't for everybody, but 99.9% .9 of the people, I can guarantee you guys, if you don't set yourself up with, with like-minded people around you, um, that is, in my personal opinion, the biggest shortcoming for, for anybody trying to be successful. If you are constantly, constantly surrounded by people who are, are just negative Nancys, you know, you're probably going to get sucked into their wormhole. And I myself don't like that. I like people that want to be better. I like people that have goals, guys that set trends, that do things outside of the normal, and they do them right. Uh, Number eight, time and energy spent on things you have no control over is pretty much garbage, guys. It's a complete waste of time. You need to move on and control what you can control. Um, basically, um, those other variables, they're going to play out no matter what the situation is. Um, so you just need to move on. Um, do not spend time on things that you have no control over. They're pretty much just going to consume you and it's going to waste your time and it's just for no reason. Uh, number nine, um, you cannot bullshit your way through everything, guys. Um, I know they say, you know, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Um, some people at some point are going to call you out because you need to understand the things that you're putting out there. You can't just say something and just wing it every time. There's a situation for those. Um, there's a time and a place for that situation, but basically, um, you know, know what you're talking about. Um, it plays out better than spewing just random garbage out of your mouth all the time. Um, at the end of the day, if you have some, you know, clue about what you're doing, uh, not only is it going to come off sounding more professional and like, you know what you're talking about, but at the end of the day, it's going to be overall better for you because knowing a fact rather than speaking garbage is way more useful. Trust me. Um, Number 10, guys, um, trying to please everyone 
never works. There's always going to be somebody that's out of the loop, somebody that's pissed off. Once you realize that you can't please everybody um, and you can learn to cope with that situation, um, then you can understand that's the way it has to be. At the end of the day, if you spend all of your time trying to ensure that every single person is happy, you're going to be the one that's unhappy because you know your focus is on something that it shouldn't be. At the end of the day, you're gonna ruffle feathers along the way, you're gonna piss people off, there are gonna be things that people don't agree with, and at the end of the day, um, you have to know what's what and you have to move on and move forward. Um, and that's, that's just how it has to be, period, guys. Um, number 11, um, your body is your temple, guys. The, whatever you put into it, trash, garbage, whatever, um, you need to understand that um, it shows. So if you eat nothing but shit, um, your body's gonna become shit. You get one body in your lifetime, guys, your body is your temple, and at the end of the day, um, you know, you have to know its limits. If you put nothing but garbage in your body, you're gonna get a garbage outcome, guys. Um, and nobody wants to be the lazy fat guy. Um, I get it, it's kinda second nature to us Americans these days, but at the end of the day, it's not the most positive way to go about things. So just figure out what you're putting in your body. Make sure that you you do a little bit of good, and whether that's exercise, eating healthy, whatever it is. Um, just know that you get one chance, one body, and at the end of the day, that's all you get. I know when I was young, everybody tell me, "Oh, you lift like that all the time," but you know, one day when you're old, your back's gonna hurt. And sure as shit, guys, it happens. Um, once you get past those certain age limits and age marks, um, things just change, and they're not the same anymore. Um, that's something that you hear older people tell you all the time and they give you those words of wisdom and advice that nobody really listens in one ear and out the other. Guys, pay attention to that. Um, number 12, stop doing the same shit over and over again in hopes that one day it's gonna have a different outcome. Um, take a risk, take a chance, because if you don't, somebody else will. Don't sit there and wonder why nothing's changed or nothing's different whenever you keep continuously doing the same shit over and over again. At the end of the day, if you're not, like I said, taking a risk, taking a chance, somebody else will, and you're gonna sit there and be like, damn, so-and-so, you know, he's ahead of me now because why? I don't understand, I've been doing everything the same. Like, it's because they did something different. They stepped outside that line. Uh, they, they made it work, where you were just sitting here fully content and operating and doing nothing different. Um, you have to change. Um, number 13. Um, the master has failed more times than the student has ever tried. Uh, do not assume nothing, um, you know, happens um, from just luck. Like, it, luck, it plays a small factor in some things in some people's life. But at the end of the, end of the day, like I said, I, one of the biggest things that I hate seeing just anybody that's successful is you see comments like, man, you're lucky. You know, you're lucky that you have a Lamborghini. You're lucky that you have that truck. You're lucky that you have a boat. You're lucky that you have a house. Luck has nothing to do with that. In my opinion, I just want to punch those people in the face because they weren't with you and they don't truly know what went into all that. Um, luck didn't play a factor. Hard work, determination, skill, mindset, mentality, that is what took um, that person to that next level and got them those things. Um, without any of those skills, or those mindsets or those opinions and those paths that they chose, none of that stuff would happen, right? Um, so basically guys, like I said before in one of the other rules, take, take a risk and a chance that other people don't um, because ultimately, you know, that's what's gonna determine the difference between you and the other guy. Uh, it's gonna make you different, set you, set you apart, make you stand out from where the other guys don't. Um, number 14, guys. This one's a pretty one that's near and dear to my heart. Um, your biggest fan is a stranger. Your worst enemy is a, f is a friend. Um, you know, we've all been through that where, you know, you're friends with a dude, you fall out of friendship. Next thing you know, the dude's stabbing you in the back. He used you to get to the next level. Guys, in my career, that's happened more times than I can even count. I've helped so many people out that everybody knows and, you know, they f tend to forget where they came from. Um, that happens everywhere in every single, single, field out there, um, whether it's automotive industry, you know, products and accessories, oil fields, construction, I'm sure every single one of those, um, you know, types of fields have had this happen to somebody more times than not. So at the end of the day, guys, um, you know, remember that the, there's wolves in sheep's clothing. You got to always protect yourself. The number one back that you need to watch is your own. 
and I cannot stress to you that enough. Um, there's a, th another saying, you know, um, number 15, you will struggle, but never quit. Um, that's something that I think is a pretty cool little deal. Um, it's not going to be a straight line from A to B. It's not, there's going to be a bunch of different curves and paths and roadblocks in the way. Nothing is ever set in stone, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, it's, there's going to be struggle. There's going to be adversity you're going to have to overcome. There's going to, you know, sometimes it might be an easier path for a certain goal to obtain, but at the end of the day, sometimes it's absolutely not. Um, number 16, mentality. Um, you could be by my side. You could be at my side or you can get the fuck out of my way. You can choose wisely. That's the mentality that you need to have as a business owner, as somebody who's trying to obtain these goals is, um, you know, guys, you can, you can be, you know, play to the beat of my drum or you can get out of my way. Um, that's kind of like the mentality that everybody needs to have if they want to get to the next level. Um, you can either, like I said, you can either be by my side, you know, at my side, or you can get out of my way. And, and literally guys, that needs to stick with you. Um, number 17, do not ever, and I mean ever, let somebody get comfortable disrespecting you. And if it happens once, I understand, um, you know, you let something slide, uh, whatever. But at the end of the day, um, if it happens more than once, that's on you. And, and I can assure you, um, if you let it, it will. So stand up for yourself. Um, don't let anybody ever get comfortable disrespecting you, spewing your name or bad things out of their mouth. Say something. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, sometimes confrontation is the best way to handle things is you need to, you need to talk to that person one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not saying call them out, get into a cloud fest and a cloud battle and be the cloud king. Um, especially like on social media, do it personally, do it off, off the books. Um, you know, anything I say about anybody, I will say to their face or to them, um, I'm not afraid of that. I don't care if you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. If I got something to say to you, I'll say it to you. I don't care. Um, and that's kind of like the mentality that everybody should have, I feel. Um, number 18 is a good one. Uh, everybody is a teacher. You need to be a sponge. You need to learn from others. Um, the only failure is uh, not learning from something. So if, if you chalk something up as a failure, you failed. But if you fail, but you learn something, ultimately it's not a failure. You've, you've taken taken away from that. You're not going to duplicate that. You're not going to do that again. You've learned from the mistake and you're going to do something different next, hopefully with a different outcome. Right. Um, and another thing that I always like to say is, uh, the only stupid question is one that you don't ask. So as you're learning from others, ask questions, there's nothing wrong with asking questions, guys. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, the more questions you ask to people, the better it's going to be for you. Um, at the end of the day, um, you know, not everybody knows everything. You can be the, the ex expert in your field at something and still learn something. Um, I learn every day, new techniques, new strategies, new ways to adapt and overcome things. Um, and I, you know, I worked in oil fields for 13 years. And one thing that I always thought is like, sometimes the, the greenest guy that's out there, day one guy never worked in oil fields. He can bring something to the table that the guys that were, doing it every day, they didn't think about it, different see it, just a different angle, different perspective, different opinion. Um, and that's something that you need to watch out for. Number 19, guys, we're about to wrap this up. Successful people build each other up. They motivate, they inspire. Um, whereas unsuccessful people, they hate, they blame people, and they always complain. So which side of that spectrum do you want to be on? Do you want to be one of those people who are the negative Nancy's or the positive Polly's. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, um, you need to choose which line you're going to draw and stick on that side. Um, I myself, um, I take great pride in being able to overcome that, especially on social media. Um, say for example, you're on Instagram and a guy throws you the, the negative comment. You could feed into it be like, Hey bro, you're a dick. I hate you. Uh, you know, I hope you get hit by a truck. You poor piece of shit. Or you can say, Hey man, um, I appreciate your, your, your opinion. Um, you know, I understand that that's your opinion and I respect that. But at the end of the day, um, to each their own, um, you know, you like your stuff. This guy likes his, um, one thing everybody needs to understand is everybody's got a different opinion, outlook on life, different perspective on what they like. You know, some guys might be a Chevy guy. Some guy might be a, a Ford guy. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, 
you know, that's what they have. That's what they like. That's what they afford. That's what, that's their wants and wishes. If they're not paying your bills, if they're not in bed with you every night, if they're not doing any of those things, then their opinion really shouldn't matter. Right? So don't let it at the end of the day. That's, that's what it boils down to. Don't let anybody else dictate what you're about. Um, and finally guys, number 20, um, be someone that others aspire to be, um, you know, be a teacher, be a mentor, be a guide, um, not somebody who's chasing their 15 minutes of fame. There's a lot of people on social media. There's a lot of people out there in the world that just want to get their 15 minutes of fame, get their little clout here today, gone tomorrow. Um, it doesn't matter, guys. Be somebody long-term, not short-term. Set your goals. Be there for others. Um, if somebody asks you a question, don't be a dick to them. You know, uh, I'm not better than the next guy. I put my pants on the same way. I bleed the same color. I breathe the same air. As every single one of you out there, I am no different than any person out there. Um, the only difference is that I've chosen to do my business and make my decisions differently than others have. And that's where I'm different. That's how you can be successful is going down a different way and doing things different than others. And at the end of the day, that's what works guys. So if you are looking to be a little bit more successful in your everyday life, you can hopefully use some of these tools, maybe all of them. I don't know. Um, I don't know where you're at in your life or in your stage of your goal, um, but set goals. Don't dream. Um, let others, you know, help you out. There's, there's no shame in asking for help or asking questions or getting assistance from others. If you have a goal, achieve it guys. Don't wait on shit to happen. At the end of the day, the guys that wait, they're in the, they're in the review. They're in the dust. They made nothing happen. While the other guys who chose to not sleep, to actually go out there and do instead of wait, those guys, they're making things happen. They're the boss. They're the owner. Be that guy.